pretty much the farthest north you would get in the NASCAR circuit. You think of NASCAR as a southern sport, but to be up here in the northeast during the height of the summer, it's such a beautiful area. It's just a unique time of year to be here. It definitely gives a different perspective on the race season. You look at Beach Ridge, and I think that's just the poster child for what a hometown track looks like. You know, it kind of gives you a, a step back in time when racing these guys out there throwing down, racing hard for not much more than a couple of bucks. I think people forget that that's where racing starts. This is not a buy your way to the top type sport. It's uh, definitely a work your way to the top type sport. We're running against programs that have been in existence for 25, 30, 40, 50 years. For us, starting out as a completely green team, I think people underestimate just how big of a challenge that is. We've put a, a tremendous amount of effort into making sure that we have the right leadership. These guys are giving it all they have right now, and we just got to keep working on putting full races together, bringing the cars home clean, and getting ahead of the cars we need to get ahead of, and putting up points on the board. It's definitely a marathon, not a sprint. All clear. Come on back. Come on, DJ. In four. Xfinity Series racing in New England. Temperatures expected to climb close to 100 degrees. It already feels like 101 here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. It will be a tough day for drivers and crew members. Being a young team owner, the one thing I've kind of harped on is the need for sponsorship development through the sport. I think if we want to bring more progressive and more culturally diverse sponsors and partners into the sport, we have to demonstrate that there's a place for them within the sport. With the guys at My Backstory, that's what we try to demonstrate to them. They've been great B2B partners. We think they're having a lot of fun taking guys like them, in particular Will Crowder, and the leadership there and, and showing them that there's a place for younger, more culturally diverse business leaders within the sport and NASCAR welcomes them. I think that's an exciting breath of fresh air that we're trying to Sport. Not sure if you're in the loop, but the driver's not feeling well. Yeah, Tim, before I heard you there, you got a backup plane? Yeah, we have Corey LaJoy in the area. Go up, Pete. You didn't think I could do a backup? Well, let's just say you weren't the first one I thought of. We will have to go to the back here, miss the driver's meeting while he's getting his IV. Okay. Uh, coming to green here. Get ready. Green flag. All rolling here. Still there. Side. Still got a nose outside. Outside, clear, clear. Nice job there with the traffic, that's how you have to do it. Caution is out, got one with the bumper cover off, he got into the wall in one here. Hits are open this time here, leaders are coming. Come on, four tires guys, four tires. Three, two, one, wheel straight, put on the brake. Clear up, clear up, five yellows, five yellows, no speed. 19. Coming to green here. All rolling. One out of on off. Check up, check up, check up. All right, keep coming, keep coming. Nothing wrong with the motor. I thought I saw it spit some water last time. I got my binoculars up looking. Coming to you. It's not running. Lift the hood. See if there's something on here. Shut the hood. Push it back to the garage.